now we are going to discuss question number 6.24 and in this question it is given to you a bullet of mass 0.012 kilogram and horizontal speed 70 meter per second strikes a block of wood of mass 0.4 kg and instantly come to rest with respect to the block clear it means situation is given to you like this uh, let's suppose i am assuming here we have a wooden block let's suppose this is wooden block clear let's suppose this is wooden block and i am assuming here let's suppose this is a bullet clear mass of a bullet is given to you let's suppose i am assuming this is small m and mass of this wooden box is capital m clear definitely this is going with certain velocity let's suppose small v clear and this is at rest wooden box is at rest clear now we can say when this bullet is embedded inside this wooden box after some time we can see this come uh, the block we can say instantly it comes to rest with respect to block clear it means definitely both are moving with a common velocity it is given in a question bullet is coming at rest with respect to this wooden box it means there is a two possibility either bullet come uh, bullet will come to rest number one thing and because uh, this is all already at rest or it may be possibility that this box as well as this bullet both will move with a common velocity so that we can say relative velocity of bullet with respect to this wooden box it will come out to be zero clear so let's suppose i am saying this is v so from here we can apply directly say momentum conservation this is very standard question so i can say we can write like this m plus capital m this is v dash clear m plus m this is v clear v yes so from here i can see uh let's try to understand what is the next question the block is suspended from selling by a means of a thin wire it means uh, let's suppose this is connected by a thin wire like this calculate the height to which block rises okay it means now let us try to understand first ever we will apply here momentum conservation and after that definitely this will move uh, let's suppose after some time this block come to this position for example i'm just drawing clear and let's suppose from here to here let's suppose total height that is gained by this block that is h so first i apply here momentum conservation then i can apply here energy conservation why because this block is moving under the influence of gravity and gra gravitational force is a conservative force whenever conservative forces are acting we can apply uh, conservation of mechanical energy clear so first i am saying m into v this is given 0.012 velocity given 70 total mass clear capital mass is given 0.4 so i can say 0.412 clear and let's suppose velocity combined velocity is v clear from here i can say v this is given by 0.012 into 70 divided by 0.412 clear now from here i can say if you remove this one this is 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 this one and this one cancel out clear so from here we can say this is 12 and we can say this is 0.412 clear so now we can uh, solve it like this yes velocity v this is given by 12 divide multiply 70 and this is 412 clear so now we can say let's suppose if we assume this is approximately 400 for example i am saying clear i am saying let's suppose this is approximately 400 clear so i can say 70 divided by 400 clear this one is 12 clear so i can say this one and this one cancel out i can say this is 3 clear so from here we can say 21 by 10 so i can say approximately 2.1 meter per second clear it means combined velocity that i am getting here this is 2.1 meter per second clear to everyone yes now so always keep in mind this velocity we have 2.1 meter per second clear now next we have to find at what height uh, this block will move on clear so definitely i can say we can apply here conservation of mechanical energy i am assuming this capital h clear so directly we can say the kinetic energy of this system kinetic energy of this system is actually utilizing in potential energy of this block that is mgh it is converting into potential energy clear so we can say total mass we will take capital m plus m and this is small g h clear this one and this one cancelled out clear so 
what is our objective calculate the height means we can write like this h this is given by v square by 2g clear so can we calculate height yes v v is given to you 2.1 so 2.1 into 2.1 divided by 2 into 10 clear from here we can say this is 4.41 4.41 divided by 2 into 10 i can say approximately this is 2.2 and finally you can see here 0 0.22 meter height that you are getting clear now next objective in this question we have calculate the amount of heat produced in a block so how we will calculate total amount of heat produced for that one here first we find initial kinetic energy and final kinetic energy and after that i can say that change in kinetic energy is actually dissipated in a form of heat so initial kinetic energy i can say half m 0 0.012 uh, into v square v is given to you 70 into 70 and final kinetic energy i can say 1 by 2 we can say 4.12 clear i mean 0 0.412 0 0.412 and multiply 2.1 into 2.1 clear now now you can say sir here you are not taking capital m mass yes because initially we are assuming actually that box wooden box is at rest clear now so from here you can see if we find here change in kinetic energy definitely some energy is lost in the form of heat so i can see i can write like this this is k initial minus k final clear so now i can say i am taking here half common 0 0.012 into 70 into 70 and minus i can see 0 0.412 into 2.1 into 2.1 clear so from here you can see uh, we can write like this this is 1000 clear and this is also 1000 clear so from here we can see uh, this one and this one cancel out this one and this one cancel out clear so definitely you can solve this uh, problem clear just you have to multiply and subtract it clear i am telling you an approximate result an approximate result that you will get here approximation i am saying here change in kinetic energy you will find near about 25 to 30 joule clear you will find answer in the form of 25 to 30 joule range clear you can easily calculate out clear so calculation is important no doubt but in any competitive examination if you are appearing you will find all the data like this the problem will be very easy clear but here in ncrt actually the problem is given to you in some complications but no problem you can take approximation and if you are getting your answer near about the answer clear it means definitely you are correct clear so here you will find total amount of heat that is ghost in the form of heat that is near about 25 to 30 joule clear so this is all about this question